Hi, this is uh, Robert Bridge. This was just an experiment. I'm just because time's very precious, and I'm just trying to find new ways of blogging. So, whilst I'm getting a bath, I'm going to explain to you some really. Going to explain to you um, about autoresponders today. It's tip two. It's day two of um, trying to do daily tips. And today is going to be very, very comprehensive um, rundown of emails and um, autoresponders and your options and the price plans that you have available. So the first one that comes up here is Traffic Wave, which is um, I try and be as quick as possible because I've got um, many different things and each one bring a picture together. But Traffic Wave is is um, e you, you get a 30 day trial and you can see it here there's a 30 day trial and but you could the thing about traffic wave is it doesn't matter if you have many many thousands of, of emails it's very very cheap so um, that's the good thing about traffic wave if you've got over 2000 or um, something like this and um, it's not the best autoresponder for not going into spam into your spam box but it's a very 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 good price plan if your numbers next one is eye contact now I noticed this one today, and the great thing about eye contact is it, you can have it. Um, so you have 60 days of um, a free email autoresponder, and after them 60 days, say you get, you gather 100 subscribers, um, you don't have to pay the money. You can move on to the next stage where it gives you single options of teaching. Um, so that's very appealing to um, anyone who's not really too sure whether they'll eventually be able to pay. Now, I've purposely on this um, e email tip, I've, I've chosen not to um, mention the popular one, Aweber. But in contrast to Aweber, you know, you're not an, under any obligation to um, pay any more money. So that's the good thing about eye contact. Uh, as you, hopefully, you know what I'm talking about with autoresponders. It's it's where you can mail your list, and after doing your marketing, you know, you can do research and and. and from the sales that you've done. So the most popular one which is um, fantastic is Infusionsoft because what they're doing is they're offering free demos as well but you know you're gonna if you do choose to go with these guys you're gonna be paying the high end of the price but it's great what they're doing with the um, eye contact so if you're they're not eye contact with um, the webinars so the 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 normal webinars that's most popular now, where everyone's using, you get a big box on your on your blog at the bottom, helping people um, opt into your list and and go on to a live webinar. I'll be on one in in about half an hour. So Infusionsoft, fantastic, you know, but I can't afford you. Listwire is what I use. It's free. Um, I can um, send you a PDF on this one on how to use it if you like. It's it's very effective, but um, again, it has a strange opt-in um, reason, which I think I might have explained in an earlier video. Go through my videos, find out. The next one is Mailchimp. Now, Mailchimp is <clears throat> what it suggests what you would do with your autoresponder. It's free, but as you can see there, once you go over two thousand, um, uh, over two thousand people, you have the choice of paying fifteen pounds, or you can go pay as you go where you get to a thousand and you just pay to blast it out and that's the thing about um, MailChimp is you know the whole point of autoresponder is sending out um, emails to people but you can't really do that you're limited to a month but the thing is with MailChimp which is recommended by marketers is, is, is using this thing here Google Docs so when you do make some sales whether it's through your affiliate on Amazon and stuff like that you you can send out this one here um, the forms, so you go to a form, you create, create a form with your name, asking their name, their age, and their, their location, and then it takes them to a place where you can put them on a spreadsheet, which is good for, for having information on, on your... Um, and I would, I would recommend that for, for um, doing that on, on many things, but other options on that are monkey survey and stuff like this, but Google Docs is fantastic.